so see here today we'll see one simple thing starts with a simple thing okay scheduled drops one we will see queue and then we also jump into catalog items okay tell me a simple example okay let's say um, a cleanup activity let's say a cleanup activity okay right so how we add a user to group so we'll just when we add a use any okay when we add a user to group it, it goes like this correct this underscore user underscore gr member table okay so in the gr member table things will go and store there correct ma everyone yeah yes sir yes okay now what if the group is inactive so the group someone did did the group as inactive okay so so let's see if we have any so this particular tipco support group looks like it is inactive okay it's said, i said false no oh. the tipco support group is inactive group okay then it, even though it is inactive group still records are there. please keep it on mute still records are there in the group correct everyone yes, sir. Okay. this is one thing why we need this one to be kept when the group is inactive why we need to keep okay let's say like this and second thing second example okay so users are leaving the organization okay user is not part of organization he left where is that user okay clear it up I think we'll open CC user table. No, 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 no. Here only we need to see. Okay. So, users, they will leave the organization, but they, their entries will be still there in GR member table. Okay. User active. True. False. No, true or false. Okay. False. Correct. Right. So see here, all these users are looks like inactive users, but still their accounts are there in some other or some other groups. Correct? Why we need to keep this junk? Correct? So when this is a requirement, let's say cleanup activity, we, do, we are doing one cleanup activity. Okay. So what is a cleanup activity is cleanup. Okay. If user is inactive or group is inactive, Okay. If user is inactive, then remove him from group. Okay. If group is inactive, okay. Remove all the users from. That's it. Now, if user is inactive, remove the user account from all the groups remove all users same that and this both are same correct ultimately the result is same but correct everyone yes, yes. so now okay very carefully see okay if this is a requirement i want to run it one not one time okay if it is one time i can create a simple script and then do it okay but i want to do even it is not a business rule also the same thing can be do it in business rule correct how we do yes. it okay we go to business tool on group table and user table if user is inactive then go to gr member table delete records yes okay. same group also group create a particular create one okay if group is so one one is enough we can keep the proper conditions logic is either group or user is inactive then uh, gr member table okay query it and then delete it delete multiple records simple right but i want to run this activity every month monthly once I need to run it okay I don't want to run again and again okay it's, it's a one one time job every month okay first today I need to run this job make sense yes okay. so if this is the case okay normally if it is a business if it is a if, if okay oh, give me a second now please so if this is the case generally I need to do like this correct so group Group field, group field, group field, group field, group, group, group. Where is group? Where is 
so this is the thing we need to do okay and group 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 fields active false either that false or either this false every month once i need to come here and then delete all these 25 records that is the requirement correct is everyone correct so every month first today i need to come to this one and i need to query like this either user is active or group is active or i said and not and or either that is active this is active you just come here and then delete all these records that's what my i i need to do correct correct yes so now if it is if it is this one okay see here i'll go to schedule job and then create a simple schedule job and script also i will try to write it okay not that much i don't execute it but i'll just write it simple right so script based schedule job right monthly okay and now first day time is maybe 7 o'clock okay then uh where gr equal to new glide record of sys underscore user underscore gr member gr member okay gr dot add and put it query of gr dot query if while okay uh, you can directly do gr dot delete multiples okay if you want to write any log and all then you can go for while loop okay this one you can do directly if not you want to write a log okay this record is deleted because of inactive group or inactive user then you need to write like this Uh, the record user is removed from the group because of group inactivity correct makes sense my correct everyone is that makes sense yes yes, yes. Yeah. so the same thing i don't want to do like schedule job i want to do from flow region okay so how we do it that's what we will see now okay so i don't i i i'll flow designer new flow okay i think yes i created here okay so but i'll create it from here okay i'll create i created here it saves my time okay i'll try to explain it see here okay first when i say trigger okay the trigger will tell you what it is it's a business tool it's a schedule job it's a task sla it is a catalog and, and all okay so trigger in the trigger i took what i took i took the schedule job okay daily monthly date when you take date that become that takes schedule job type so monthly i take monthly okay and then first day of month okay maybe morning 8 o'clock 7 o'clock the same screen i am re repeating here okay monthly first day 7 o'clock am okay system time we we need to do some activity what activity we need to do okay first activity right yesterday i was telling i will cover something called lookup records okay we seen already one lookup record but look lookup records we didn't see okay so i need to take an action like this i will remove it okay this is the one what i created i will show okay so action right lookup right look up records then you take the same condition okay which table gr member table okay so here you keep the same conditions here we have two conditions now gr member table we kept two condition user is equal to active group is equal to active so the same conditions you keep it here okay group okay active dot work false or user uh, user active false correct 
correct everyone so this is the condition i kept it in lookup rule so now i am going like this one okay where i written the code written the code so i went to this table and i am looking for this i am querying it lookup record means with this query get them right so either either one of them is false then we can removing it that's it yes sir either user is false group is false we don't uh, we will take both of them okay oh, yeah so now i am going and look up looking up so here you can say order by get by everything so in uh, in work in in this one okay in our coding now you can order by okay set limit and all you can do okay maybe 25 are coming i want to do it for only 10 you can say okay order by desk of it's uh, created now sys underscore created on okay and set limit of 10 i can say so even though i have hundreds okay i will take first first or descending order descending order means what uh, high to low right so last to first or first to last so i will take only 10 10 10 records here okay it goes like this and then it takes created okay and then it takes which is created on top okay first to last no descending right so what is the highest value here this is the highest value right and what is the lowest value this is the lowest value right so takes from like this it takes first to 10 1 2 3 4 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so it maybe it will take somewhere here okay this 10 will be deleted so it is right so do do can we have that kind of thing here so order by you can do created on okay and if you want to do only any 10 10 cleanups you don't want to do everything you want to do only 10 okay you can do that okay this is optional for you okay but we don't we don't have this kind of requirement so i don't touch anything here okay only thing is looking looking up the rules i want to get the i want to get some bulk of condition based okay activities so this is the one i did here lookup rules lookup records okay so after lookup record so you got it now so what do you need to do you need to delete them correct so you need to query, you, you have the records okay maybe here you query them you get it so lookup records means you apply a query and then run the query you got them then next what you do you do delete record okay and then logging so you are doing it for every record one by one correct yes everyone you are doing it for everyone one by one correct yes so here we need to use for each okay for each item so how i took for, for each is flow logic okay in the flow logic we have something called for each right the for each will tell you okay what records for what records for each okay for lookup records gr memory table for each record take this one and then what you are doing for for each delete record okay and what record you are deleting it lookup records sorry correct only no one second for each delete record give me a second more what did i do for each look up do you have, okay sorry i think here for each is okay but delete record what i kept it here hmm, do you remember table okay for each okay so i'll take this one okay and then dr mem this one okay it is two for each are there so it is showing two times so whatever it is coming in for each you know one by one one by one it will come so i will delete one by one one by one here okay the same thing i i i kept there okay so here this is also not required right so i went to look up and then i seen for each Okay, for each record here i am deleting it so what i am deleting it whatever is coming in for each i am deleting it correct everyone you are seeing it ma one by one gr member record i will delete it for each record in gr member table who are looking up here 
Is that correct? Now, if I activate it, what will happen? The schedule job will run and then it will clean it up. Correct? Yes? Correct. Okay. So, similarly, let's talk about few examples of schedule job. I don't run it now. Okay. But just to see, someone asked this question. Okay. Let's. Okay. I, I'll, I'll save it. Okay. Activate it. And I want to run this one from script, external script. Okay. So if I if you if you have a requirement to if you have a requirement to run this one from a external one, okay. How you do? Okay. So this is the line I need to run. Correct? So I take this line. I don't want try and cache and all. Okay. This is the only simple line. Okay. Now why I'll do one thing here is before I run for all. Hello, hello. Uh, before I run for all now, I will just loop, I will keep only, give me a second now. So, yeah, okay, here 25 records are getting now, so I will say, maybe created, harder by created, okay, desk are ascending, whatever it is, I will say 5, let me see, I will let me test it 5, okay, if it runs executed successfully, it, it, it cleans 5 records okay not 25 records okay we will see it so i have created one now right let's try if it deletes five okay and that too i'm i i can't wait for next month this one will work for next month correct next month fifth it will run correct everyone sorry first but now i want to do immediately i want to try it try it either i can test it okay or I can run from a background script or memory server side script. So, the point is how to run a flow from a server side script. Correct? You are following me, ma? Yes? Yeah, yes, sir. How to okay. execute a flow? How to execute a flow? Yeah, how to execute an existing flow from a workflow? Sorry, from a. Uh, from a. Server side server script. Server side script. Okay. So, every time if you develop one flow, okay, you can get the script, okay, from here. A first class, when we were seeing the first class, okay, it's not yet activated. So, first session when we were developed it, now that time I showed properties of this one. So, in the properties of this one, you have something called flow, okay, code snippet. The code snippet will give you the code, okay. So, you don't need to do anything, just copy paste this one, okay, and then go here right and write it in a background script why background script because it's a one-time execution i don't keep it in a scheduled job i don't keep it in a business rule or a fixed script i want to run immediately okay can i run so here uh service now flow designer it's an api flow of which flow the flow name this is my flow name okay and these and all okay i don't need to pass okay now run it let's see if i get some error that it will execute it I ran it, it said, okay, uh, it said delete, five records deleted, yes, I think good, we are good, but I can't read this one, I can't understand this one, okay, so what I will do is, I will go here, even I think I kept it log, no, no, I didn't kept it log in this flow, okay, maybe I would have kept log, so here I will go, I will take flow executions, okay, and then we'll just have a look whether what it did, it did complete, very good, and We'll just open it okay you check this one lookup is good okay it deleted the action now how many actions it deleted that we don't know here okay now go to the gr member table okay right now very carefully see 25 are there refresh it let's see it should become 20 so is that perfect the flow is executing yes okay and we also we didn't this we didn't leave it to execute on time okay schedule time we executed when we want it so from a script i executed the flow so this is how you get the script and you execute the script simple 